Ryan. Candy, we have six kids from 15 down to seven. How long have we been going? Since. End of faithfully since February. February, January, February of 2019. Yes. And so once we did decide, we were like, you know what, we want to become members. And once we became members, we said, you know what, it's time for us to not just commit with our time, and, and co but we need to commit financially. Because uh, for, for me, one of the biggest things is making sure that I do give back to the Lord the first fruits of what he's blessed us to have and what he's entrusted us with. Because that's exactly what he's doing. It's the one thing that the Lord says to test him in. And I did. And he has so abundantly blessed us as a result, but it wasn't overnight. It was with years of faithful giving. And so we don't go without, we don't have to worry. We live well below our means. And the, the reason is, is because that's being a good steward of what God has entrusted you with. Because if you don't, then he can just as easily take it away. There was a point where we weren't always faithful givers. We couldn't afford it, but now we can't afford not to. And and I would miss my mortgage payment before I missed tithing, the, the first fruits of my income, because I know that when I give with that kind of faith that God is going to take care of the rest because in our time together, he always has. Uh, we've been to the point where we've been down to, you know, the last 17 cents or 37 cents in the bank account. and. I had no job and I was like, well, where does that come from? And then all of a sudden that check comes in the mail that you're not expecting. And it's like, you know what? God's always taken such good care of us. I can't afford not to be a good steward of what he's entrusted us with and give back to the a ministry that is in, in my opinion, doing exactly what is in alignment with his will. You know how pastor had talked about it before through throughout 2020 and how well they they were still able to do and help people help people at our church that you know were struggling as well and it's just that big leap that leap of faith that we all need to take and god's gonna god's gonna be there he's gonna carry us and so yeah <laughs> seeing the impact that our yeah. church is able to have and then know that we're going to be able to impact more of our community by adding more space it's just, it's such a great feeling to be able to know that even if we pay even a small part in that, it feels great. It feels great to know that my reward in heaven, you know, I, all I'm asking for is a garden shed. But, you know, <laughs> if, if, if it turns out to be more than that, great. But you know what? It's, it's, it's remembering that our reward is in heaven for what we do while here on earth. And, and so to, to be able to see the, the, the fruit Come, come to fruition, um, it's fantastic. It's just so awesome. I love it. And and I love knowing that, you know what, even if it was a small part that we played, we were able to play a part.